Good afternoon. We're here today to present you with the final legislative wrap up. You may notice I'm not at the Capitol. I don't have that backdrop behind me. I'm actually at my home in Minnetonka. What a treat, a treat to have uh, completed this session and of course a treat to be back in my community. I went to Rotary this morning and received a warm welcome. I go on leave when I'm in session and it was really nice to be back at Rotary. So what I've done in this final wrap up is taken each subject area and provided you with just bullet point format of what happened. We've tried to leave out any editorials. No, I like that. I don't like that. We'll let the facts speak for themselves. You can editorialize, which I'm sure you do. You let me know. I always appreciate that. But it was our intent to really provide you with an overview of everything that happened. Some of the things that I'm most proud about, which I haven't editorialized, but just do want to underscore. The thing that I'm very excited about is the ability to launch our pipeline project. I, as you may recall, pipeline stands for private investment, public education, labor industry experience. This is our attempt at launching a German model of dual track um, education whereby we are setting forth competency standards in four key industries in IT, in advanced manufacturing, in health sciences, and agriculture. <laughs> um, we're setting forth a process putting competency standards in place in hopes that when we uh, come back next year with those standards in place that industry will then join us in choosing students right out of high school to partner with that they'll in fact subsidize both their work and perhaps their tuition. That is really the intent. To, that is the German model and it is our hope that we can close some of the, the debt problem, the you know inability to find jobs issue with uh, the institution of that kind of post-secondary uh, experience. So that's uh, something I'm proud of. I'm also excited that we passed the kill switch legislation. We've talked a lot about campus safety. That legislation is in response to really the rise in violent crimes that we've been seeing, not just at the university, but all over our communities. So this bill in particular would, uh, if some someone stole a phone, you could instantly shut that phone off, and it makes sure that if you're gonna turn a phone in, you don't get cash. We don't need to incentivize the criminals for uh, robbing these phones and then getting cash. So that's just a couple of the highlights. As I said, read the review, and as always, let me know what you think. Thanks very much. Have a wonderful summer.